Good morning. Where are we? We're still in the hotel. <laughs> we are. We are currently in Folkestone. We're staying at the Best Western Plus, the Burlington Hotel. Yes. It's been it's been quite a comfortable yeah. stay. Yeah, it yeah. has. It's been all right. You know, um, so it's six o'clock in the morning. It is. So we're having to be quiet. Yeah, it is. Um, so welcome to the channel for those of you who haven't joined us before. So I'm Paul, and I'm Tom, and we are the blokes from Stoke. Uh, we live in Staffordshire, hence the name, and we are a travel Disney Florida um, pair of loonies. Yeah, <laughs> and we are about to venture to. Disneyland Paris. Um, just a little tiny vlog series this. Yeah, just yeah. just like a few days away. Catch yeah. up on the Disney magic since we haven't been since um, August. Yes, that's right, yeah. So a little catch up with the Disney magic. Um, we're going to be heading across on Eurotunnel this morning. Yeah. Half past seven I think our train is. So we're going to go and get checked in. Yeah. Um, pick up a bite to eat. Yes, because we haven't got any breakfast booked at this hotel. Mm. Um, we did a room tour last night, which we will put in for you here. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hello, welcome to the Best Western Plus. Plus. What, in Folkestone? In Folkestone. It's called the Burlington. Yeah, it's a big old building, um, yeah. which is it's on the seafront, isn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. the sea is just across the road. And we'll just give you a very quick room tour so you can see where we are bedding down for the night. It's about 20 to 10, um, so we haven't really filmed much on, on the pre-travel day, but yeah. you're, you should be watching this on the travel, travel day. day stroke um, park day one vlog. So we'll give you a quick sweep round and just let you have a look at the facilities. So if it's somewhere you want to consider staying, you can. How much was it? 79 or something like that, I think it was. 79 for the night, I think. Yeah, in a double room. cheap and cheerful. It's about three miles out of the Channel Tunnel terminal. Um, so not too far. We've only had room only because we're leaving so early tomorrow. Um, so um, we'll show you a little bit of what's in here. It's it's not massive, is it, Tom? No. <laughs> it's it's fairly. I mean, you can you can just you know see. Compact and bijou. <laughs> Compact and bijou. But let's uh, give you a sweep and um, we'll show you where we're staying for the night. So there is a double bed in here. This is a double room. Um, Interesting wallpaper, not bad, I guess. Modern. Yeah, fairly modern. No USB sockets by the bed, not so modern. Um, so it's, we bought our plugs, luckily. And then this is the other side of the room, your little chair. And then that is a big window that looks out onto the front of the hotel. Obviously, it's fairly late, so there ain't much of a view out there, unfortunately. Standard teas and coffee makers. You've also got your drawers as well. Um, there's a safe. Uh, some light switches, TV over there. So you get a decent view, I'm guessing, from the bed. I think that is a double bed. It does look like a double. Hope so. We're about to find out anyway. Oh, there is a little clock radio there with two USBs. So that's better than nothing. Which is by the side of the bed. Now the only thing there isn't in here by the looks of it is an iron and an ironing board. You've got a hairdryer, you've got your luggage rack, you've got a fan and your coat hangers. Oh, who's that handsome creature? Oh, oh. Now who am I talking about, Tom? Is it me or you? Ah ha ha. Um How very rude. Oh he's off. He's off. Um bathroom with your sink, some amenities, and your shaving mirror, and all that jazz. And then you've got your lavatoire, and then you've got your bath, shower. So yeah, just cheapish and cheerful. Um, I would say it's, it's, it's not basic, is it, Tom? It's, no. it's a bit more... Yeah, it's all right. A bit more than basic. Um, and as we say, it's only a head for the night tonight. A head? It's a bed for the night. So we are going to do our little bits and bobs, as we do. I need to get my beauty cream on, and I need to get all my lotions and potions <coughs> on. Um, and then we're going to get some sleep. And then tomorrow, what time are we on the train? Oh, I think the train's at 7.36, so we've got to be oh. at the, the tunnel for 6.36, so... So it's now 10 to 10, so I would say I'm going to just put my little flannelette night dress on and uh, get my rollers in. 
Oh, shut up. And get to bed. <laughs> So we are going to venture over and get ourselves across to Vive la France. Vive la France. We're both in our Disney attire oh, today. Yes. I've got my Disney spirit jersey on. Tom's got his little spirit jersey on. And Paul has got a little Wish Upon Threads creation. The McGain bows, as we call them, aren't they? The little, little Wish Upon Threads game bows. Um, this wasn't gifted, by the way. This was a purchase, um, just so you know. But they do do this in T-shirts and all sorts yeah. of things. This room is Yeah, it, we look like the Wicked Witch of the West at the moment because we are literally melting. So we will um, set off on our journey come with us see what we get up to of course it'll be the usual mischief silliness nonsense and a bit of sarcasm but you'll also see our very first reaction to avengers campus because oh, we've not yes. done that before yes so that's new for us this time yeah so stay tuned stay with us um and if you like what you watch of course please do the obligatory like subscribe hit the notification bell so you can stay in touch with all of our adventures we like to stay in touch don't yeah, we? we do we do we're very active on the socials as well oh we are paul is as well we um mostly <laughs> yes um but yeah catch up with our socials and we're on twitter we're on Instagram and we're on Facebook. Yes. So find us on there the, at the blokes from Stoke on most socials, um, and we do like to interact. Don't we? Yeah, we do. We do. We yeah. do keep um, you know keep an eye on all of that kind of thing. So please you know follow along. Drop, um, us, drop us a message. Drop us a comment. Yeah. You normally get a reply. Yeah. Usually something sarcastic <laughs> and witty. It all depends how much coffee I've had. <laughs> um, anyway, let us get on because I need to dampen my brow. Uh, not dampen my brow. Wipe my brow because it's bloody warm in here. I feel like those uh, HRT patches have kicked in. <laughs> right. We will see you shortly. Oh, it must be bloody mad. It is wild this morning. Wild. But the roads are clear. They are. <laughs> oh. Just having a cheeky little McDonald's just to start the day off right. Tom's gone to Put some bits in the bin. <laughs> Hope it doesn't fall in. Are you filming me? Yes, I am. Oh, the golden arches. <laughs> Nah, mate. Eleven twenty nine for a litre, that's good. Yeah. What have you got, Tom? Beam deflectors. You're thinking this day and age they'd make a car yeah, you would. feature where literally if you're going abroad you just press a button and, switch. and it switches the, the beam. So Tom's got the pleasure of putting them on when we get in the tunnel. Well, thankfully it'll be late when we get to France so... Well it probably, yeah, it probably is going to be, isn't it? Yeah. Let's get back in. Are you driving this bit? No. Yes you are. No, you yes are. you are. Thank you. Oh we've been told to proceed. Oh my air. Um, so we're going to make our way over to start the journey. Um, just so you know, we are staying in Abusi Saint Georges on this trip. Uh, we're not actually staying um, 
kind of very close to Disney. We, two stops away on the train. Yeah, just two stops away on the train. So it's a different hotel for us. We've never stayed there before. And we will hopefully get a chance to check out a bit of the locality of Boussy Saint Georges as well while we're there. Something a little bit different. Um, we've got a day and a half at Disney. We've got um, today, which is the 28th. And then we've also got tomorrow, full day. And then we have got the 30th free to we're hoping that we might be able to go into Paris and have a little um, walk around Paris for the day properly do a bit of sightseeing we know there's been a bit of a a bit of trouble in Paris haven't we over the last few weeks so we'll just maybe monitor that and be be cautious but yeah don't want to get caught in any of that do you do we so um we are venturing to France stay with us We always have the slowest passport control, don't we? Always. Oh, last time we were here, we were backed up for ages and ages and all this. In the wrong lane. In the wrong lane. We were in that lane. <laughs> we went for oversized. <laughs> I can't think why. Maybe that's how we were feeling at the time, Thomas. Oh, we're going straight down to the drain. I think it's dead exciting this. Driving your car on a train. Oh, we're cutting it fine, Tom, aren't we? Oh, we are, duck. It's 7.28. Um, we are on the 7.36. We are just queuing to get on the train. And they are cutting it fine. We are moving, though. We are moving. We had the slowest passport control guy, didn't we? Yeah. Um... I think he was like having a little swig of his drink between every single passenger. So we're just uh, on the cusp of, of going down the ramp and getting on. But will we be on the top or will we be on the bottom? Who knows? What do you think, Tom? I think we were bottom last time, weren't we? I yeah. I think we'll be top this time. Are we going to be top? I think we're going to be sat up top. Oh, I wouldn't know anything about that. Um, so, yes. Answers on the postcard. Let's see where we end up. Ooh, 7.32. Will we make it? Oh, are we going down the bottom? Oh, we're going up the top. Oh, we're on the top bunk, Thomas. We're on the double decker. I don't know whether I'm used to that type of thing, being on the top. Oh, we're going up. Oh, I think it's very clever, all this. Very clever. Oh. There you go. Now, whether we're off at 7.36 is another story entirely. Tell us what your favourite way to get to France is. Do you fly? Do you go on the tunnel? Or do you like the ferry option? Let us know in the comments what you enjoy the most. Oh, we're moving. You can call a member of the team by using the points of appeal situated on the panel lateral. Oh, you can't really see very well, but we are moving. That there is France. Oh, we've arrived. What are you? What looks a bit frosty outside? Is it fresh, frosty? Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just the light. Maybe it's just the ground uh, colour. Yeah. Oh. Mesdames et messieurs, bienvenue à France. We shall be arriving shortly. Please return to your vehicle and do not start your engine until unloading begins. He's very authoritative, isn't he? After the unloading door very authoritative. Open. This may take a few minutes. Please remember to get your vehicle out of first gear. Shouldn't these windows are tinted? I don't know. I hope so, because it looks mighty grey outside. It does look very dull. Very dull. Very dull. Oh. 
Are we going to stop? Three, two, one. Beep. Oh, it's very smooth, isn't it? Oh, it's so tight. Please follow the arrow on the display. When leaving, please turn right. It is dead clever. I love it. Prepare to make a U-turn. Ooh. Merci, au revoir. Oh, it is throwing it down. Please follow the road for one mile. Goodbye. Please keep right in four hundred yards onto A sixteen. Yeah. Paris, Calais, Lille, Reim. Well, we're on the way in the rain. Um, it's about 180 miles to where we need to be. Uh, this says we'll get there at about six minutes past 12. Um, we are headed to the Hotel Campanile at Boussy Saint Georges, uh, Marle Valley. What? Let's try that comes up rolls off my tongue. You love it. Excuse me, I think you'll find that I did very well in my French oral. Thank you very much. I had uh, very high grades, to say the least, for my GCSEs in French. Um, we're about 16 miles from the tolls. Um, somebody's asked us on Instagram if the process of using Eurotunnel is, is quick. And it is really, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you just go onto the website and you book your time slot for whatever you, you want to do. And then when you arrive at the terminal, you literally get your registration scanned automatically. There's some booths, some are manned, some are automated. Um, once you get to the booth, it reads your registration number and then brings your details up on the screen. And then you literally just confirm things like your uh, number of adults, what type of fuel your car is, your vehicle is. Um, it asks you about pets, you sh if you've not got any pets, just to declare that. And then once you've done that, it issues you with one of these, which you then just put on your uh, mirror, your, your rear view mirror. And then you drive into a little parking area. It looks like a service station on, on, a, on a motorway, doesn't it? Uh, there's a Starbucks there. We, we have put a bit of footage of that in for you to see. And you can get a drink. Uh, that's where you go if you are taking pets. You do have to take them to the little pet centre over there to get them all registered and make sure that they are travelling legally. And then there are loads of screens all around the car park and inside the, the terminal. And you just wait for your um, letter and number to be called. So we were X5 today. And then it tells you to proceed. You join the lane that takes you around to passport control. You go through passport uh, control twice. Um, I think it's British and you, uh, US, sorry, British and French. And then you're just directed to wait in the lane. We were a, a medium and small vehicle. Don't do what we did the previous visit and go into the oversized vehicle lane because that's wrong. Um, so yeah, it's all unless you are an oversized. Vehicle. Well, yes, unless you are oversized. I mean, you can see where our confusion was, can't you? Um, and then it's all pretty straightforward. Everything is signposted. There is an opportunity to buy something called Flex Plus, which literally means you can turn up at the terminal and you can jump on any train, can't you? There's also a lounge for Flex Plus passengers as well. Um, there's a little dog walking area in the um, by the main terminal. If it is that you have pets that you want to walk, there's a little uh, doggy playground you can use as well. So it's all very straightforward. And then once you're called, um, you just make your way uh, to the train um, dock like area where it is that you embark, and then you literally just drive onto the train. You're on the train for 35 minutes. You have to turn everything off. And then, as soon as you're at the other end, just follow the signs, and you're on the road. So, straight onto the motorway as soon as you come off. Yeah, super simple, super quick, 
uh, really, really easy. And yeah, as we say, it's all digitized, all automated, unless you do want to speak to somebody, you can pass that over. Um, we printed our boarding pass off, but to be honest, nobody actually asked for that. Nobody ever uh, requested us to show it. Um, and when you get to that little kiosk anyway, it reads your registration number. So as long as all your details are correct, um, linked to your car reg, then you're absolutely fine to go. So it's super easy, super simple service, and it means you can be on your way quite quickly. Obviously, we've got a long drive to the hotel, and if you were going to the airport, you'd have like a 45 minute train journey. So swings and roundabouts, but we quite enjoy the drive, just not during this weather. So there you go, that is how you use Eurotunnel. So just coming up to the Toll Plaza, and basically you just get your ticket here don't you and then when you get to the other end you can make payment on your credit card or debit card and of course you've got to remember that it's catering for people who are in a left-hand drive car so unless you've got a passenger huh, I'm not quite sure how you're gonna do this but here we go and then you literally do oh Tom you've gone too far oh oh he's gone too far <laughs> What do you think I am? Stretch Armstrong. There we go. So you get a little ticket. Like that, when it focuses in properly. There you go. So you keep hold of this, and then when you get to the other toll plaza, you pop that in, and it tells you how much Normally you have to pay. 20 something euros. Yeah, 20 something euros for how many miles? About 70 odd miles, something 45, ridiculous. 45, this one is. Oh, is it 45? Well, it's still about three times longer than the M6 toll, um, which you have to pay about seven pounds something for so yeah keep hold of your ticket if you're uh, coming this way just having a little pit stop at one of the little rest areas along the way there's quite a lot of these dotted around on all sides of the motorway kilometers, pardon every two kilometers. is that what it is every two kilometers every, no every oh, I can't remember. oh okay well they're very frequent anyway yeah one of them will be a, a full service like this cars left but. and then the next one will just be a picnic area with hole in the ground toilets and then the next one will be a service and then the next <gasps> hole in the ground toilets yes quite a few of these have hole Ooh, in the ground toilets. i think you've come to the one that's a demolition site at the moment i don't know where you can can you just park here oh my god let's not park in the puddle no let's not oh how picturesque <laughs> I thought France was meant to be beautiful. Improvements. <laughs> please follow the we all Come need on. them, don't we? <laughs> oh, please. Come on. Do you want some water? Yeah, it's like the day of the, not the day of the trip, it's the War of the Worlds. I don't know whether you can see, but there's little eyes that are flashing, little lights. And they look like um, they're alive. It's alive! Johnny Five. Oh, Johnny Five. <laughs> yeah. Less than 50 miles to go, and we'll be at the hotel. Uh, the toll booth is in 10 miles. So we've made pretty good time, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, it's half past <laughs> 11. 11 here. Um, so it's half past 10 back in the UK. And yep, yeah, and there's even a little glint of sunlight there as well. Which uh, we didn't think we were going to see so soon. What's the temperature, do we know? I don't know. It's about 10-ish. It, it was eight and a half when we got off yeah. the train. But all. Yeah. We've had a we've had a Red Bull to give us some weights, so we can uh, keep ourselves awake. I don't feel too bad actually at the minute. Do you? I think because we've we've slept and we haven't had far to travel, it's been nice and easy rather than travelling down and jumping onto a, a ferry or a train. At least we've slept the night before, and so it just feels like a normal day, which is good. So yes, we are far away. We'll keep you posted, and if there's anything on the journey between now and there we'll show you of course we've seen some of the lovely graveyards haven't we uh, well they're not lovely but um, the graveyards for the soldiers which is 
<laughs> I've never seen them. Well, the gravestones are lovely. I like those crosses that they have. Um, so, yeah, it's always a sad sight, really. Just a little bit of a reminder of of days gone by. Um, but yeah, they dotted all around this route. Yeah, we come through the Somme area, so yeah, sad, somber at the Somme. You might say we're coming up to Charles de Gaulle Airport. Oh, okay, so we might see some aeroplanes. Um, yeah, because you drive under the under the runways, under don't the you? Runway, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think we showed you that last time in the um, in the last Disneyland Paris vlog that we did. So yes, Loise, Loise, the River Loise. Is that what just come over? I don't know. I don't know. Any French viewers, please don't um, at me with my accent. I apologise. The pronunciations are terrible. Just come through the tolls, 23 euros 40, and it wasn't for 40 odd miles. No, it, it was, was 120 was miles. Yeah, over 100 and something. Oh, Park Asterix, 10 kilometres away. We've been there before. Um, so, yeah, that's really not bad going, I don't think. And the roads are so quiet, even when there's an accident in France. The roads just keep on going. It's not like us Brits that stop if a leaf is in the middle of the carriageway. Um, so, you know, it's it's really not a problem to pay it because you, you really are getting a decent a decent service and there's been no delays as that at all. Yep. It's been a straight run. Hardly any road works happening as well. It's not like Stoke. Uh, Stoke. It's not like the UK where every other junction there's a new set of blooming road works to contend with. Very different. No smart motorways either. It's all just lovely and straightforward, which is just what we like. So yes, we're 37 miles away now. Not long to go. Now somewhere around here, you should see the top of a roller coaster. There you go. There we are. So that is Park Asterix over there. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah. Is that a new coaster? Have we? Oh, we've been on that one, but not that other one. That looked like a hat, to a top hat then. Sure. Yeah. Maybe that's new for 22. <laughs> there is the airport. Can't see any planes taking off. Just see some tail fins. Yeah, there's some tail fins. And this is. Oh! <laughs> uh, this is the runway here that we're going under. It's a massive airport, this. Oh! Massive. We have come through here with an aeroplane going across that bridge. Yeah, we have. And last time we were here, we did see some planes taking off, didn't we? Yeah. But it's huge. And this is just, so how many have we just, we've just been in a one. This is the second one. And then there's three, four, five. The taxiways on. Yeah. Yeah, there's loads. No, it's all very quiet in the skies. Aeroville. Oh yeah, we've been there. Yeah, it's a big shopping centre as well that we've just seen signs for. You can drive there and have a little wander around. There's some eateries there and um, shops and things. Prepare to keep right. And we stayed at the Hilton at Charles de Gaulle as well when we did uh, Park Asterix. Right, right, yeah. Because it's only, it was only a 15, 20 minute drive away. Quite a nice hotel. Yeah, yeah, it's a lovely hotel that. Highly recommended. Yeah, no planes, Mr. P. No. All quiet on the aviation <coughs> front. Too disappointing. I know. Oh well. We spoke too soon. There is one. Lavalli design. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Aeroplane. This is far more important. Whee! Please keep right onto. Not quite as impressive as the, uh, no. the arches, though, is it really? Oh, well. We're about 1.3 miles away. So we're just heading into the vicinity of Brucey Saint Georges. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Are you laughing at the way I say Brucey? <laughs> no, it's Saint Georges. The Saint Georges. I'm sure that's how you pronounce it. I'm sure my 
pronunciation is is correct. Val de Bussy. Yeah. And how close are we to the train station? Bus. We're for only a few minutes walk, aren't we? I hope so. Oh, I hope so. Otherwise, you're in big trouble. We'll have to drive. <laughs> oh, we're miles away. <laughs> I don't know where we are. Neither do I. I hope there's something a bit more than just a few fields around here as well. Oh, well. Let's see. Bienvenue. Now turn left. Is that it there? Yeah. Premier class hotels. Wi-Fi gratuit. Parking. In 200 yards, you will have reached your destination. <laughs> he's going in, he's going in. Oh! Yep. Oh, the room isn't ready. Um, so we're just going to go and drop the cases with concierge. Is this blurred again? Ooh, it is. It blooming is. It's ridiculous. So yeah, we'll drop our cases off and then we'll venture out. Are we get the train or are we gonna... Well, it's up to you. I mean, do you want to drive? Do you want to drive? Mm -hmm. Oh no, look at this. Oh God, this focus. It's terrible. Oh, look how big and strong he is. Oh, we can lift suitcases single-handedly. Oh, well, that was my foot. <laughs> Right, we can't check in, so we are going to walk to the station, which is about 10 minutes or a 13 minute walk, so in, we'll see. In some kind of direction. Yeah, have you got your phone up so we can see where we're going? Um, I think it's free parking here, as far as we know, and I'm guessing it would go out this way and go along. There's two hotels on this side, so... And everything looks very similar, doesn't it? I mean, this all looks very much like um, the Val d'Europe area, doesn't it? Similar kind of architecture. So we'll try the walk this time, and then we'll see how we fare. If it's a disaster, then tomorrow, I think we better take the old car. Ooh, we might have an annual pass by then, Tom. You never know. No, we won't. You never know. So I'm guessing is it Bussy Saint Georges, Tom? It is indeed. Oh good. Oh good. There looks like a few little places to eat around here. Um, I'm We've guessing. Been here on the bus. Have we? Yes. Do you not remember when there was three old Oh right. Okay. Yes, I do because we went all round the houses That's on right, that, didn't yeah. we? We went to Dorsey. Oh yes. We yeah. have been here before. Yeah, there's some little shops, shops and things. Uh, it feels like Val de Europe. Yeah. I like the way it's set out and how it's relatively new. Yeah, I think a lot of these places around here are, are relatively new, aren't they? Panda offices, whatever that is. Ooh. <laughs> There's a pharmacy up here as well. Which way next, mister? Yeah, yeah. Along, the end, right along here. Mister. Oh, amazing. And the train station, we think, is just here. Yeah. Where? Oh, there. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, Thomas, you're jumping in front of cars. It's got a, got a death wish. Oh, we've just passed that lovely, um, there's a Chinese restaurant there and the smell coming out of it is amazing. It's gorgeous. So, we might have to venture out there one evening to have a little 
little nibble on something. Oh, that's a car park there. That's not the train station. <laughs> yeah, it's not a far walk to the train station at all. In about eight, nine minutes. I can see blue sky as well. <laughs> yeah, there's more eateries and things around here. Now let's hope we get in with these tickets. Oh yeah, we forgot to, we haven't got our printed copies of our tickets with us. So <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. We have got PDFs so. though. seasoned travellers really. Yeah, you'd never think it, would you? Oh well, it just means you're human if you make mistakes. Can't be perfect all the time, Tom, can you? I mean, I know I try, but... Well, it's probably taken longer to get one of these than it has to queue up at the parks. Uh, one machine wasn't working and then there was a massive queue. Um, so we are on line A. Yes, it's Tom. On line A for the RER. We are headed to Marla Valley in Chessy. It's two stops away, and this has just cost us five euros ten. Five euros ten. That's one way, but that's for two of us. So, and it's thirty euros a day parking. Yep. Yeah, so it does make sense to get the train if you're near to a, a a station with good connections. But yeah, literally two stops away, and then where we've stayed before is uh, one stop away, which is Val Europe. So super, super quick. So hopefully next time you see us, we should be at the gate and then we can't get in because of these tickets if <laughs> you watch this train's called a quickie a what? a quickie oh we like a quickie Here we are! Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm excited! That's new, isn't it? Is that new? Uh, uh, uh. Thank you. 